you know, just thinking about what the culture around mental health is at our institutions. Um, you know, thinking about how uh, grind culture is really a huge part of academia, um, that it is uh, in a lot of ways celebrated. You know, how much, you know, how, how long did you stay awake uh, to turn in that paper? Uh, that we, you know, we really don't promote health and well being. We don't promote long term uh, health and well being. You know, it's very much for the, uh, the immediate fix of, you know, study all night or write all night or, you know, what, what have you, you know, turn that grant in. Um, and, you know, I think students see their faculty members, they see their staff working themselves to the bone. Um, and it's, so it's a larger systemic issue. You know, it's not necessarily, you know, that these are bad people who are modeling this behavior because, you know, they enjoy it. Uh, in a lot of ways, they're being encouraged to do that as well. And so just thinking about the whole picture and thinking about, you know, the trickle down effect of, um, you know, these expectations on faculty and, and staff and how this is really um, promoting a lot of unhealthy behavior, I think, for, for students, um, that this is what it's supposed to be like. You know, do you see or do you hear faculty and staff talking about taking time off, about resting? Um, about, you know, what they do to take care of themselves? Or do you just hear about, you know, are you getting emails responded to at two o'clock in the morning? Um, you know, that that's sending a message that, that we're supposed to be working around the clock. And so I think that as we try to, to intervene on mental, on, you know, behalf of mental health for students, we have to think about, you know, is the system really reflecting that we care about that, that we, we want that, or are we just saying it because it sounds right, because we have to, because, you know, we're concerned about things like um, suicidality among, among students. And so we have to say, you know, that we want you to be healthy and take care of yourself. But I think we need to do more than say this, you know, we need to be promoting a culture where everyone is engaging in this kind of, um, you know, holistic care, thinking about themselves as full human beings, thinking about themselves as, you know, having so much to bring to the table, you know, so, you know, what are the things that also we are uh, kind of acculturating students or, or encouraging them to assimilate to this, this system, um, when I think we would benefit so much if we allowed students and, and faculty and staff to show up, you know, as they are as full, full humans, um, with all the diversity that they, that they you know, can offer. Um, there's so much creativity there. There's so much, you know, wisdom there. And, you know, in a lot of ways, we, we um, encourage people to, to leave that at the door, you know, that that's not professional. And so I think we're really robbing ourselves in a lot of ways um, as institutions of higher education um, because we're doing this. And I, I think, you know, I like what you said about the intervention because I don't think people recognize that that, that is what we're doing, um, that we are kind of colluding in this uh, this way of being that's really depriving all of us.